again, legends. Hello, Hello Zan. <laughs> you ran onto the stage today through no fault of your own. Walk me through what happened on the tarmac. Well, um, we were supposed to leave at nine o'clock this morning um, to make it in time for our 2.30 show. The plane was delayed two hours and 15 minutes. We arrived at Ballina at... What time? 10 to 2. No, yeah, 10 to 2. And they, so Blues Fest picked us up in a 12-seater, walked straight off the plane, didn't need, we left our bags at the airport. Going around the carousel. Yeah. Got in the bus, got here, what time? Uh, 2.45. Got straight oh, 2 out, 2.40. 2.40, yeah. straight out of the bus, straight onto stage. So we want to thank the crew and everyone at Blues, Blues Fest for getting us on stage. It was so smooth, it was yeah, just like, incredible. Everything was set up, everything was ready to go, so we're really grateful. Thank you very much to everybody. Is this the most rock and roll entry you've have ever had in your life? No. <laughs> <laughs> Remember we had, we had, we, we got flown, Paul had to charter a plane for us. We did a gig somewhere and he hired a plane to pick us up and fly us to Splendour or somewhere like that. And the tour manager was waiting for us on the tarmac. We got out of the charter flight, <laughs> into the bus, drove us to backstage at, at Splendour. Was, no, it was, it was um, I can't remember what the festival was called. Woodford? No. No, where all the young kids go? Falls? Oh, no, no. yeah, what's that it's thing? Really great festival. Yeah. Groove in the Moo? Groove yeah, in the Moo! that one. <laughs> it's like festival bingo back here. Yeah. Where all the young people go? <laughs> the young people. Where the young people. <laughs> Well, it was like that. It, it was, was like this. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, and it, and drove us straight backstage, straight on stage. I think that was the most rock and roll because we had a plane. You wouldn't tell a though. Charter. You sounded incredible. You're always consummate professionals, and you've been able to perform your new album, your first in quite a while, at a festival that has had to wait itself for a couple of years. How did it feel being out there on stage and performing these new Vicar and Linda songs oh. live and loud to Blues Fest after this massive delay? It was pretty exciting, wasn't it? Because they were still waiting. Because if it was me waiting for 20 minutes, I'd go, mm, yeah, I'll go see something, something else. <laughs> <laughs> but Vicar walked on and just went like that. And then everyone went like that too. And so we, we knew we were all together. I was wrapped. I was wrapped, Zan, to sing those songs. There was no time to kind of think about it really, Zan. It was just get on and do it. And so just the stress levels were so high. I think our blood pressure was like 200 over 100 or something ridiculous like that. All of us. We and were in so the back of the van, Vicar and I close like this, going, just going, okay. Yeah, so it was really hard to take it in and enjoy the moment because, <laughs> but yeah, when, when we got a lovely reaction from the crowd, it just, it was like, ah, here we go. Let's, let's just have fun now, you know, yeah. What does yeah. this festival mean to you? Because you've played before, you've been here in, in many incarnations. When you step up on that stage, what makes Blues Fest different to, to the other festivals? Oh boy. I think it's multi-age, that old multi-age, we're all in it together, there's no kind of like barrier. Mm. That's what I love about Blues Fest, is that we're all in it together. It's not like a young people's festival, even though Green Room is amazing. <laughs> you know, it's everybody, all walks of life, all different types of taste in mu mu music. It's been interesting seeing the festival grow over the years, because we were like at the old side, I think one of the first, we were years and years and years ago. I mean, we've been singing for a long time now, so it was like, we were, I remember playing at, when it was in town. Yeah. And yeah, just watching it get right. bigger and bigger and bigger and, and, and then seeing people come back year after year after year. And it's, it's lovely, you know, that they have such loyal, loyal people that, to come and camp and hang out and enjoy the music, I think. Yeah. It's, it's just wonderful. They obviously feel comfortable. You know, that makes us comfortable. Yeah, we, we don't feel, we walked out there and we didn't feel intimidated or scared or, yeah. which we often, you know, it's like, oh, what if they hate us? Yeah, what are we you know, walking what, into? What, if yeah. anyone what if... ever, ever <laughs> doesn't love Vicar and Linda, would you ever, yeah. ever think that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the nerves hey. are still there all these years later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You yeah. never know. Yeah, I think you just, you know, I mean, everyone, you know, appreciates music, I know that, but it's just mm. having that that nice, you know, cheer and people, yeah. the support. Yeah. You, you know, we, we, we felt the love today, like, and that really made us happy, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, you're going to feel the love again. You'll be once again up on stage with your mate, your collaborator, Paul Kelly, long time part of Paul Kelly's band. How does it feel to be doing double duty? Do you have to sort of separate things, different parts of your brain for different, different experiences, different performances, or is it all part of the same big musical heart that you're living every day? No, we're backing singers for Paul. So that's what he's backing support like all the rest of the band. So that's a different hat. Mm. Um, it's, as hard, it's as difficult, it's not as easy. Like it's easy to, you can't say that backing singing is easy. It's like lead vocals, they're, they're both difficult jobs. Um, yeah, but our, our job is to, is to support him. So yeah, yeah I mean, uh, today was like being up front and trying to hold a crowd and entertain them. You know, that's Paul's job tomorrow. We can just sit there and go, you know, ooh. Over to you. Blah, you know, so, I wasn't going to say something, but Linda is on the lines already, so that is telling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do I seem pissed? <laughs> you seem festive, Linda. Oh, just festive. Festive, yes. Really? Okay, You've got to okay. bring that blood sugar and blood, uh, blood pressure down somehow, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm very excited about seeing you once again um, back on stage with Paul. Beautiful to see you today on stage at Blues Fest. It's been a hard time for people here in the Northern Rivers, yeah. not just in the last two years of pandemic of having this shut down, but of course in the last few weeks. And I know I could see it. There were so many people with smiles on their faces, bringing the light and love of Vicar and Linda Bull on stage. We thank you so much for joining us backstage at Blues Fest and out there. Thank making you, our hearts soar. Thanks, guys. Yes. We're sending our love to everybody. Yes.